Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman from Minnesota joins us right now. Uh, Congresswoman, thank you very much for joining us. I want you to look at something from David Letterman last night. It concerned, uh, well, Governor Palin's comments uh, about uh, Barack Obama. I think she's the one who says that uh, Barack Obama pals around with the terrorists. Uh, has she, in fact, said that at rallies and stuff? I don't know. Uh, uh, yes, and he did. Yeah. Well, let's take a look now, uh, Congresswoman, at the radio tape uh, message that's going in a number of states right now, being put out by the Republicans and the Barack and the uh, John McCain campaign. It's called a robocall. You just pick up the phone and you hear this recording. Hello, I'm calling for John McCain and the RNC because you need to know that Barack Obama has worked closely with domestic terrorist Bill Ayers, whose organization bombed the U.S. Capitol, the Pentagon, a judge's home, and killed Americans. And Democrats will enact an extreme leftist agenda if they take control of Washington. Barack Obama and his Democratic allies lack the judgment to lead our country. This call was paid for by McCain Palin in 2008 and the Republican National Committee. Well, what do you make of that, Congresswoman? That uh, raid, that uh, what's called a robo call, and what uh, Senator McCain said last night on, on Letterman. Well, I think it's fun to have a sense of humor right now, and especially last night on Letterman, I thought that John McCain was extremely funny. As far as the robocalls go, I think that the Obama campaign is very worried because Americans are just now starting to find out about Bill Ayers and about the questionable connection that Obama has with Bill Ayers. These are legitimate questions, and I think the Obama campaign has the right to be worried because they don't want the American people to know about these connections. Well, let me talk to you. What do the connections mean to you? This connection you're talking about between uh, the Democratic candidate for president and uh, his connection back in the 90s with uh, Bill Ayers, who was involved with the Weathermen group back in the 60s and early 70s uh, when he was eight years old. What is your uh, what is your concern about that? I think it's devastating because this is a, uh, an unrepentant terrorist who says he wishes he would have bombed more people. Remember, this is a man who bombed the Pentagon and was happy to be uh, bombing Americans as well. This is not a person that the President of the United States would want to be associated with. Had John McCain been associated with Bill Ayers, it would have been a nightly story. It would have been everywhere. But the media has been kind of avoiding this story, and Barack Obama has been avoiding it too. He actually did start his uh, state Senate campaign in Bill Ayers' home, and uh, Obama worked very closely with him on education matters, very liberal leftist agenda of education matters as well. I think that it's important that the American people know that Barack Obama didn't have a mild association with Bill Ayers. He had a very strong association with Bill Ayers. Bill Ayers is not someone that the average American wants to see their president have an association with. Why, why, why do why is it of concern? What what is wrong with it? Tell me what it tells you about it, Barack it, Obama. Does it say does it say he's got a character problem? Does it say he has a problem with his patriotism? Just give me a term for it so we can put it in a category. Why do you care enough to bring this up at the end of this campaign? Why is it an important election eve issue? I think it's. I mean, if we got a lot Chris, of problems in this country, why is this an important? Why is this so important that it's being pushed out on on telephone calls to all the key states now, with two weeks to go? It's important because we look at the collection of friends that Barack Obama has had over his life. And usually we, we associate with people who have similar ideas to us. And it seems that it calls into question what Barack Obama's true beliefs and values and thoughts are. His attitudes, values, and beliefs with Jeremiah Wright on his view of United okay. States, which is negative. Bill Ayers, his negative view of United States. We've seen one friend after another. It calls into question his judgment, but also what is it that Barack Obama really believes? And we know that he's the most liberal senator in the United States Senate, and that's just after one year after being there. He's the most liberal. Joe Biden is the third most liberal. You've got Harry Reid, who's liberal, Nancy Pelosi, right. who's liberal. What's the you have What's a the troika connection? of the most leftist, okay. uh, a leftist administration okay. in the history of our country. If you have liberal views, does that mean you have anti-American views? What's the connection? I don't get the connection. What's the connection between liberal and leftist that, that, and anti-American? Anti-American I mean, is the are you point. Anti -American? Because 
Well, the, the liberals that are Jeremiah Wright and that are Bill Ayers, they are, they're over the top anti-American. And that's the question that Americans have. Remember, it was Michelle Obama who said she's only recently proud of her country. And so these are very anti-American views. That's okay. not the way that most Americans feel about our country. Most Americans, Chris, are wild about America, and they're very concerned to have a president who doesn't share those values. Okay, let's take a look at Governor Palin, because she said something very much like what you just said. Let's hear Governor Palin on the very same topic of the connection between Barack Obama and Bill Ayers and what that tells you about his view of America. Let's hear. Our opponent is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to pal around with terrorists who targeted their own country. So you think that's a fair critique of Barack Obama, that he, he, his view of America is, so, that America is so imperfect that he pals around with terrorists. Do you think that's a fair comment? It's a fair comment because Barack Obama does have a close association with Bill Ayers. It's one that the American people have a right to have some answers to. And Barack Obama still hasn't come clean on his relationship with Bill Ayers. And it's been under the radar and only recently has it been coming out. And people need to know. So this is a character issue. You believe that, that Barack Obama may, you're suspicious because of this relationship, may have anti-American views. Otherwise, it's probably irrelevant to this discussion. So absolutely. You it, it I, the, I, I, so you I, believe absolutely. that Barack Obama yes. may have anti-American views. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm very concerned that he may have anti-American views. That's what the American people are concerned about. That's why they want to know what his answers are. That's why Joe the Plumber what, has what, figured what, so highly in the last few days. Okay. Because Joe the Plumber asked a question that a lot of Americans want to know. Uh, Sarah Palin was around today talking about pro-American parts of America and assuming there's other non-parts uh, of the country there. What parts of America would you say are anti-American? What parts of this country? Well, I would say that people who hold anti-American views, I don't think it's geography. I think it's people who don't like America, who detest America. And on college campuses, a Ward Churchill, another college campus, a Bill Ayers, you find people who hate America. And unfortunately, some of these people have positions teaching in institutions of higher learning, but you'll How find them in all walks of life all throughout America. What about people like Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid, the liberals you were mentioning a moment ago? Uh, where would you put them? Would you consider them anti-American as well? I would consider them to have far leftist views. I'm not going to say if they're anti-American anti the or pro-American. The I, I, well, you I were will, putting them together. You the put three words that... together, liberal, liberal, leftist, and anti-American. What is the, how do they all fit together, those three terms? Liberal, le leftist, and anti-American. Well, that's a good descriptor for Jeremiah Wright. It's a perfect descriptor for Bill Ayers. And those are friends and people that Obama has pointed to as his mentors. In his book, Barack Obama had pointed to Jeremiah Wright as one of his mentors and also his father, Flager, as one of his mentors. Two of the three mentors are Father Flager and Jeremiah Wright. Now, these are very strange anti-American mentors. Right. This, if people this... like that were John McCain's mentors, you'd be all right. over John McCain. Well, let me ask you this. This country is roughly divided now over the last of our lifetimes between Republicans and Democrats and liberals and conservatives. Maybe the 30 percent of the country is or 30 to 40 percent is conservative and self-described. People tell you what they are. And 30 some percent may are liberals. Do you think those 30 percent liberals are anti-American? The 30 percent of this country I that calls that itself they... liberals, are they anti-American? I think, I think the people that Barack Obama has been associating with are anti-American, by and large. The people who are radical leftists. That's the real question about Barack Obama. Saul Alinsky, he, one, of, one, of, one of his uh, uh, teachers, you might say, out of the Chicago area, Tony Rezko, who was an associate also. These are very He's a left concerning I thought he was a business guy. that are in Barack Obama's I thought Tony past. Rezko was some business guy. I didn't know he was a leftist, yeah, anti-American guy. Yeah, that's, that's guy. troubling, too. Well, that, that's troubling, too. Take a look at these associations, well, let me, Chris, I, I, add I, I, them I, I, all I, well, up. And, and this is the t totality of the package that Barack Obama has been in Sarah Palin's world palling around with. These are his what, friends. These are his associates. Uh, Very troubling. How many Congress people, members of Congress, do you think are, are in that anti-American crowd you describe? How many Congress people you serve with? Well, I mean, there's 435 right, members right of now, Congress. 
How many are anti-American in the Congress right now that you serve with? You'd, you'd have to ask them, Chris. I'm, I'm focusing on Barack Obama and the people that he's been associated with. But do you suspect that a lot of people you serve with? Their anti-American nature. Well, he's a United States senator from Illinois. He's, he's one of the people you suspect is being anti-American. How many people in the Congress of the United States do you think are anti-American? You've already suspected Barack Obama. Is he alone or are there others? How many do you suspect well, of your I, colleagues I as being anti-American? What I would say, what I would say, is that the news media should do a penetrating expose and take a look. I wish they would. I wish the American media would take a great look at the views of the people in Congress and find out are they pro-America or anti-America. I think people would be would love to see an expose like that. Okay, thank you very much, U.S. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman of Minnesota.